Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Mike Druhan from Medix Health. How are you? Wonderful. I've counted five news releases here in the last two weeks or 10 business days. Quite the news flow, Mike. What's going on? Well, what we're doing uh, is delivering on what we said to investors on our strategic uh, planning session. We're coming back and we're starting to launch an, a number of pilots and we're telling the market about how what we expect uh, to see from revenue flow from those. So this is just the, the start of the cycle. And of course, Numan, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself, the managing director for Europe and the rest of the world, basically. Correct. Well, not the rest of the world, but Europe, Middle East and Africa is the region that I'm focusing on currently. Um, my name is Naman de Maglitris, and I joined the company about uh, a year and a month ago. And of course, I was just talking to Mike you know, before we started this interview, and he was explaining that you're responsible for the catalyst, you know, part of the team, of course, for the last, what, four, three, four news releases? Correct. Yeah, we've had quite a flurry of activity um, over in Europe and in the Middle East. Uh, we hired a ex Medtronic met, uh, marketing director uh, for uh, the Middle East and Africa region. And I have been focusing on the European theater as well as Turkey. And that's got us uh, quite a bit of traction in terms of identifying uh, new distribution channels. Uh, companies that are very well established. And this was done through uh, my network uh, in the region over there um, that will allow us to tap into the various verticals uh, that our platform is, uh, uh, is a great fit for. And of course, Mike, I see the news releases uh, deal, Turkey, United Arab Emirates and the United Kingdom. Is, is Europe and the rest of the world, are they taking uh, skin cancer or dermatological testing and screening more seriously? Or what do you think the reason is for the, the deal flow outside of North America? Well, I think a couple of things. Uh, Naman actually was in charge and went over to the Netherlands. We were having a little bit of a stalling going on in there. And I think we could, we could start with that and say, and Naman went over and had a chance because we had live operations in there to sort out the model. And then what happened was we had a host of connections into the Middle East that we were able to get in touch with that were higher level contacts that both of us had. And that's what you're starting to see. The pro proliferation now of that activity is starting to hit the market. So in the UK, Turkey, uh, in the Middle East. Well, I'll tell you, it all looks very exciting and enticing. Um, but I'm going to ask you first, Mike, I saw your Q3 results and they weren't what some of us had hoped they would be. When are we going to see the results from all of this deal flow that it appears that, you know, Numan, for instance, since joining your team has been putting together? Yeah, I think that's a really, really good thing. I mean, I think the third quarter numbers was our transition. We transitioned uh, on, the, on the executive team. We've uh, replaced both CFO and uh, president, and, uh, former president and CEO. Um, that was a big shift. We have been, as everybody knows, moving out of the laser business in terms of our, our primary focus and into the dermatological space, which is the key future of the company. So all of that got us sort of thrown into the third quarter numbers. Uh, and now we look forward. So Numan, what's your, what's your sales cycle like? What's going on here? Like, is it nine months, six months? What are we looking at? So Tracy, basically uh, the sales cycle will be between three and nine months three months to identify the right partner, three months to pilot, understand the clinical pathways, maximize the throughput of patients in our system, and three months to set up the commercial operations. So approximately three to nine months is the sales cycle. So Mike, three to nine months sales cycle, you got your sales team in place. We're very excited for you here at Investor Intel Land. Um, when should we start seeing those results in revenue? Are we looking Q4? Or are we looking for next year? What are we looking for? Yeah, so you'll start to see those numbers in Q4. Because remember, there's a hardware sale up front, and that, then it's lagged by about a month. We don't do pilots that are not paid for, because we want real world experience. So those numbers will start to show up right in Q4, Q1, and then start to escalate from there. As we have more and more pilots opening, more and more revenue will come from those. And then, of course, it will escalate when that converts into commercial contracts. And for those of you out in investor intel land that care more about saving lives than just making a lot of money, Mike, can you tell us about how many lives you've been saving just in you know, some of these trial tests you've been doing? 
Um, if we just took a look at the Netherlands trial, the Netherlands trial, we did about 6,000 scans last year uh, in 2021. And about 300 of the scans that went out there were what we call highly suspicious scans. And it looks like it's about 150 of those scans came back as melanomas. Various stages of melanomas, but that's the number. So there's 150 lives that gone unattended would have had very disastrous outcomes. So we're pretty proud of those numbers and we look to escalate it right across the European theater. Well, Mike Newman, thank you so much for joining us here at Medics Health and congratulations on your ongoing successes. Thank, Thank you, Tracy. Tracy.